recognize them if they are not casting spells. Ah, you must wait and watch. As soon as they cast a spell, then you know you should slay them. And if How you do, do they know about this? What? Oh, then they make How are they able to cast these spells? The power of the fog. They, they channel it into themselves. Oh. And the fog is not a good thing, but it gives us it gives us some uh, magic and things like that. But it also takes much. It is like a it is like a force of nature. She says via your translator, but a horrible nature. A force majeure. Yes, yes. She toasts you again, which you, she's like, are you quite all right? She says, your stomach's like, right, I'm going to die. <laughs> hey, Reb, do you think we should ask them if they would be at all interested in trying some of our delicacies? Because we don't know how they would react to it. Or can we just leave that out? Uh I mean, we can, but it'd be very much on a case of we are, we have no idea if it would. We, we need to be open and upfront about the fact that it potentially could be. It'll be on them to take the risk, is what I'm so yeah. sure to. If they are willing to take the risk, then sure. Right now, just so you're aware, it's it's still a little bit tense, but it seems to be going okay so far. You're pretty sure that anything Frey suggests will only fuck it up, but it's up to you. Because <laughs> that's how he rolls. He's like, things seem to be going well. I slap her with my cock to let her know I like her. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, so I do need to get a, a, especially now, a new set of clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah um... uh, perhaps, lady, you'd like to help me pick something up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She says. Seduction roll? Ah, uh, okay. You slap her with your cock, yeah. You know, roll it half, because she's not really into the whole interspecies thing uh, no. at all. No. And perhaps oh, we should. Uh, uh, we provided a place for you to stay uh, in the morning. Uh, uh, I still want to get a set of clothes anyway, because yeah, can we buy? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, the merchants are available. She now wants to break mm -hmm. off the meeting for some reason. And uh, she <laughs> says, well, the guards will escort you to a, a building. I, I take it you can both ride uh, bully works, yes? Yes. Very good. And right, she says, and we will, we will provide those and an armed escort. Uh, you are going to the main city? Yeah, we're going to the main city, right. Very good. She gets up. You guys get shown yeah. off down to a merchant. Uh, the the merchant, uh, the only clothes that they sell here are pretty much like super basic fucking clothes. Good news okay. is they're only one laver, uh for, it's not like a, it's a one piece shirt pants thing. Mm -hmm. And it's made uh, for people working in mud. Oh, so it wouldn't even fit us. What do you well, mean? Well, they've got different sized people. They would also have something that fits us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Although, if you want to get one, one of the ones that the blob guys wear, they go anywhere from uh, uh, two to five arms and legs. So you can get various amounts of arms and legs. I would like to buy, assuming that maybe if I can also buy a bag or something to carry all this in, I'd like to buy five sets of clothes. All right. The, yeah, uh, he'll toss it. If you buy five sets of clothes, uh, sure. Um, are you trying to bargain with this guy? Because you tell no. this guy is not a wealthy dude. Well, no, I'll pay. Okay, uh, great. Uh, it'll be a grand total of uh, uh, five Lebert and five Zit. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll do the same. You buy five sets of clothes and a uh, bag? Thank He's having a fucking banner day. Uh, one of your yeah, one of your uh, uh, one of your one pieces actually has three arms on it because you bought all of his two armed ones. So he gives you one of the ones made for one of the blob guys, but it's got three arms and two legs. 
Or wait, no, sorry, three arms, okay. three legs. They always go with three legs when they can for stability. So you can tell people it's for your massive cock if you wanted to, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. They call me Jake the Big League. <laughs> Apparently. I'm a tripod. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then you guys uh, get some sleep in a hut. Weird jungle noises and shit. All the insects are fucking different and everything. Uh, and, you know, partway through the night, you're something like, ah! you're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> but no alarms are sounded. And you're like, what the fuck is that shit? And so you're thinking also with your survival, you're going to want to get climatized to the zone. You definitely have fucking half until you get climate because even the trees and shit are different. There's like trees oh, that look okay. like rainbow colors and shit. And you're like, the fuck is that for? Do I touch it? Do I burn it? Is it going to kill me? I don't even know. So in the morning, you guys get woken up. And after, you know, they offer you some poison. Would you like some poison? The bowls of food and shit. And Reb's like, I've just recovered. I don't know. Huh. Freddy's like, I can eat anything. Uh, okay. <laughs> I want to know a roll there, Freddy. You eat a, you eat and drink a good breakfast. Mm. Super, says Freddy. I'm Very ready cool, to go. Oh, ha, ha. Mm. Reb's like looking a bit. No, yeah, I'll just stick with water. Yeah. Uh, by water, you mean the shit. Oh, I, I don't say that. Okay. They bring him a baguette, which you're not thinking it might it might not be flour. You don't know what it is, but yeah. So right, the even because the water you don't nobody drinks straight water, obviously, because you can see him peeing in it upstream. So that shitty beer, and that's what you're drinking last night that made you shit all over the fucking jungle, just fire hose spray of shit. It was a horrible night. And you've just now recovered. You're thinking next time you come here, you want to bring your own food and water. Anyway, then they take you over and they show you your transport, which looks like. Dramatic pause. Okay, are you sure this is a good idea? Why did, why did you tell them we can ride these things? Probably we can. <laughs> Right. Uh, they are immense, as you may have guessed. Move back. Oh, uh, they are oh. big fucking riding frogs and shit with two very minimal saddles. Neat. The four guards mount up on theirs. They I, indicate I, I, two wrong. for you guys. <laughs> uh, I said, help. Huh? Help. What? Help. Yeah, Assistance everybody else. Has, help. Everybody else has gotten on there. I, I, I offered. They yeah. just indicate what, what, what you need. Uh, Your frog is eyeballing. Of land again, or? Freddy's frog is eyeballing. land. Uh, Logan, can you hear James? Can you hear me? Okay. Is it primitive? What is it? Uh, primitive, what's, small. What's, what's the what? Uh, primitive, small. Uh, small? Yeah. It's not tiny. Is it, is, it, is, it, is, is it a horse? Basically, it doesn't count as a horse in terms of Yeah, horse. same. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Yep. I fall off my frog. Uh, no, you are you are catapulted off of your frog because these things hop. You're traveling the whole way by long ass hops. <laughs> roll, roll, a, roll a uh, luck roll, Freddy. If you make it, it's only a d6 damage. That's fine. What are you worried about? Yeah, Don't everybody else is these? just fucking bang, bang, bang. Okay, roll a d6 on yourself. They stop. There you go. Yeah, they uh... they, they they all encourage you. Yeah, yeah. That's stun damage, right? Yes. 
<laughs> they, they encourage you. Yes, you can do it. And they, they, yeah. they go, baguette, something, something, something. They're now calling him baguette. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> right. Another luck roll. Oh. If you make it, it's only a D6, oh, no. Freddy, okay. as you go, bang, bang, <laughs> down the tree. That was my friend. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Your name is. Oh, oh, there you go. No problem. I, you guys I just had to fiddle into the settle with you. You know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, just so you know, there are other creatures that are flying around with people on them and stuff like that as well. Uh, you see some guy on like a big fucking weird, uh, looks like a giant rhino thing, but with four eyes and stuff that's going along the road. And yeah, there's a whole different fucking ecosystem here. They don't seem to have horses and shit like that here. And yeah. So anyway. Yeah, that's why we're playing Frogger. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, on the road, there's uh, various tradesmen and stuff like that uh, heading up and down the dirt track. Some are going by uh, um, in the river. Uh, it looks like they mostly are bringing food, small tools, shoes, wading boots, gloves, shit like that. And downstream goes clay, lots and lots of clay. Um, and as you continue on, the, the road gets better over time. I like it. Uh, remember that for the end of session there. Yeah. Uh, Vitronese is a nice walled town, heavily garrisoned. Looks like a lot of merchants coming and going, surrounded by farms and stuff. They've been chopping out the jungle. By the way, quick side note, the, especially for a survivalist guy here, the jungle has bamboo. Mm. As far as survivalist shit, bamboo is like gold. You can do so much shit with bamboo. Except build a radio. That's Gilligan's Island you're thinking of. Anyway, no need, need coconuts for that. You're right. Um, let's see. They they also have like a large open area of with rotting wooden stalls that's probably serves a farmer's market from time to time. Uh, leather and cloth are not super common. Also, an interesting thing here: they seem to raise a lot of dogs in pens, and for some reason, the dogs are right next to butcher shops. Anyway, it's, it's, it's a mystery. It, it, nobody ever knows what happens with it. Yeah. Um, and then the uh, town uh, houses and stuff near the river are on uh, uh, stilts and shit like that. More boats go up and down. Uh, everybody seems in, in all the towns you've been to, they do have a lot of garrison, but nobody seems to be getting oppressed. Nobody seems to be being a dick. It definitely tells you you're not in the human world anymore. <laughs> anyway. Don't worry, we'll change that soon. Nice. Nice. Conquer that shit, Jameis. Um, <laughs> eventually, uh, you guys reach the big city, which is uh, Peru. And um, this place has got about 20,000 people. It's got a lot of guards. It's got a little bit of urban sprawl, but... This city is built in the mountains, so pretty much the, the guards and the frogs, they're going to leave you. They're like, here's where you go. And the guards, give me an empathy roll there, Reb. Freddy, they, you can try an empathy roll too, actually. Okay. Apparently, this is my place. Apparently, you live here now. Right. You're thinking, Reb, that they want something from you. Freddy, you're thinking a small gift to each of the four guards. A, a small gift might be a good idea of some sort. I'm giving them a couple of beads and stuff. Uh, right. Um, mark off another 10% of your trade goods. You're now down to 70% of your trade goods. Cool. Excellent. They seem well pleased with this. Uh, they take your frogs and they are heading back. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, as far as I can just free as far as I'm concerned, I don't really care if we get sold all for this if we just end up giving it all away because it's more about information gathering. Yeah, it's far uh, more important than any money we get at the moment. Yeah. 
Yeah. So if that ends, I don't really care how much we end up giving away to people. I don't like. Take your card, Javis. That is a very good view. Now, um, some more pictures. Ooh. Pig. Now, it looks as though they do have cannons here. However, as you can see in the picture, these are the super shitty cannons that might fire once or twice during an entire combat because they have to wait for the shit to cool down. Uh, but they do have arbalists and stirrup arbalists and shit like that, um, as well as uh, various basic ideas on fortifications, such as this. And of course, the glasses mentioned earlier, you see from time to time. They do also have paved roads. <laughs> yep. Now, I suppose they should even bother with that sort of extent when they've got frogs and stuff to move around. Oh, no, no, that's in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, in, in the city and stuff. They, there are also, here in the city, you do see people who ride around on these things, which appear to be giant fucking bears of some sort, uh, with six, <laughs> six eyes. Uh, and uh, armor. And in the sky, occasionally you see people riding around on these kind of things. And lastly, you also I'm pretty see. Pretty sure there's a Pokemon. Oh. No. Uh, you also notice that they have these weird two headed cows that they raise as well. Although the dog things seem to be the most uh, common. Oh, Brahmin? Yep. Yeah, they have some of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brahmin. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and to give you an idea of some of their high tech, here's some pictures. Mills and fixed cranes are considered quite amazing tech now. Logan, um, if I were to buy a paint pit, could I basically paint, quote unquote, that little, this picture here, and mm -hmm. then post it on the boards so people know what the city looks like? Oh, this, are you talking about the fortifications? Oh, yeah. yeah no, the city, here. the city doesn't look like that. That I'm giving you, that's just to give you an idea of how advanced right. their fortifications are. In other words, pretty basic. Oh, okay. Things like murder holes and shit haven't quite come into okay. vogue yet. Um, the city itself is, okay. is multi-level. It's on a mountain and uh, there's, it looks like uh, they have walls here and there on the mountain. Pretty much it's a shitload of stairs. Anybody trying to siege this better have fucking great cardio. <laughs> I mean, just even without fucking wearing armor and carrying weapons, getting up there looks like a huge pain in the ass. There are no fucking elevators and shit. And you're thinking that there's like a village at the base and then there's a smaller town up the top. And you know what, Freddy? It reminds you a little bit of fucking Amber, which scares the shit out of you. Because they got kind of the same setup there where there's the fucking town and then up on the, the top of Mount Corvier is where the fucking castle is and shit. And it's just that kind of, you know, when you when you see it and shit. So it's the same kind of uh, thing, but uh, you're thinking that anything that gets sold up there is much more expensive because each and everything going up there is carried on somebody's fucking back. Everything. Mm -hmm. There's no easy way to get stuff up and possibly by design. Hey, man. Oh, what? There, there is an easy way to get stuff up. They've got animals that could take it up. They could, but the stairs are uh, made hey, small. Boy, they make them small so that probably you can't get an animal up. And oh, give me evidence analysis Red, rolls. Um, I know what. It is. Sorry, go ahead, Freddie. Evidence analysis. Damn this lag. Anyways, um, <laughs> that's fine. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, no, Red. Uh, I know where the. Lord Governor or Knight person is. I'm wondering if maybe we should take the rest of our 
uh, trade goods and go and offer them to him as a gift of, um, you know, like a first greeting kind of thing, get some good relations in with him. Is he that sort of person that he's much in sh- such in charge? Is he, is he like the big chieftain or is he like really sort of administrative head mayor? He seems to be in charge of the city, but I don't know what rank he has. Like, he's not a king. He seems to be some sort of governor. Maybe, maybe now that we have someone who speaks French, you can ask. Yeah. The- <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe we can just offer this. Because if he's just like an administrative head, then you need to go to the people that you have power if you want to bribe people. Yeah. Why don't we well, that's basically what you're trying to suggest is we bribe them. No, no, not bribe, just... Yes, bribe, that is exactly what you're saying. Yeah, well, it's more like, hey, we're new just here. Just got to find the right person to bribe is the point. Yeah, okay, yeah. Just, you know, get some good relations, I mean. Yeah, you're bribing them. <laughs> Just as a hi, please don't kill us. Right, but we can, um, yeah, well, we can sort of soak in the atmosphere a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the evidence analysis level? Um, He's typing stuff. Yeah. Okay. You're He's typing stuff. Your, your evidence analysis is telling you that they are definitely fearing an attack. Nobody makes it this fucking hard to live if you are not in fear for attack. Mm. In other words, that's why, like, uh, it's the difference between a palace and a castle. Castle, you're expecting somebody to roll up with some siege equipment. Palace, you gotta look real surprised when that shit happens. Mm. And this, this is definitely a fucking castle. Oh, as it happens, I have uh, military tactics and above hobbyist. Roll! Uh, who's up there? Is. I have no idea. Oh, oh, I didn't make it. I thought yeah. I it. Oh, uh, right. With that roll, they're expecting an attack both from uh, the water and other mountains, which is bad. They're expecting a two front prong war or one, whatever. So that's not good. No, they're basically screwed. <laughs> yeah, because just like every other place Freddy goes to, this one seems to be either in a perpetual state of constant war, getting ready for a state of constant war, just finishing up with one, getting ready to go to the next, etc. Well, to be fair, it's just the general state of PC that we seem to come across these places. I'm not going to blame Freddy entirely. It's the PCs. Ah. Uh, <laughs> whose fault is everything? It's mine. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's because of the PCs. We, 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 it's because when we came into this, as you call it, the shadow realm, or as I call it, the dreaming, we affected it with us. <laughs> Yeah. And just yeah. everything went to shit once the PCs got involved. Um, so you guys are just wanting to wander around, check shit out, you know. At the, yeah, sort of soak it in. As you're saying, if, uh, who was a who was the ruling people in charge and stuff like oh, that? Is, right. is, yeah. is if we were going to, if we were going to bribe our way into good graces, who would we bribe? And find out about the other kingdoms, rumors, and stuff like that. Do they have a newspaper? <laughs> ah no. no. Go to the library. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, invent the new <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, that, that that you go to the um, pubs and stuff, and you talk to the old people about what uh, yeah. was going on around here because and you buy them. Not magic. Let's, let's go one at a time on this shit. What now all of this is covered under research. Talking to people, knowing who to talk to, yeah. going to the pubs, knowing to talk to the old people, all that shit's research. So, uh, what um, you're going to get, uh, since it's getting later in the day now, you'll each get uh, one research roll, and then it's time to find a place to stay and go to sleep and see if Jameis starves to death or dies of thirst or something, because he is looking pretty rough right now. 
because yeah. he's been trying to stay away from the fucking drinks because they seem to just go through them and get mixed with some sort of black blood of the earth and then ejected forcefully on the air side with a force that could lift him off to a trip to the moon. Uh, I can get you stuff, by the way. Once we have a room, I'll jump over, grab some stuff, jump back to you. Uh, how are you going to get back? You're going to call me on my Trump. I don't have a Trump of you. That's why I'll give you one. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we can sort it out. Yeah. All right. But, as, as Reb thinks about having clean food and water, you just see a single tear. Just <laughs> so, so, hard, so thirsty. Uh, what, oh, look, what, it's the first time. I was out on the freaking desert. <laughs> what is the most important thing we want to know? What is the, 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 what's the state of the play of, this, of the castle at the moment? That's okay, I'll do that. What that's the hell that's pretty do? fucking, that's pretty big topic. You might want to slice it into something. What's, okay. what's going on around here? Well, it's a castle. God damn it. <laughs> Not that I want to restrict him from rolling, but can uh, Freddie make a roll given he doesn't speak the language? Ah, good point. Oh. Uh, no, no, he, he can support you. He can go talk to that guy. He looks smart. And the guy's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, yeah. okay, fine. Uh, who's in charge? What, what do you, what's the ruling party? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and uh, uh, if you would like, I don't know if Freddie R.A. has a check in research or not, but yeah, he is fucked for not being able to speak a French. Plus 10. God damn. He, he's yeah. like, you want to talk to him, but not him. Right. And. Oh, no, I'll get plus tape for Freddy. Wow, yeah, that yeah, fucking worked. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay. Well, that worked out. Yeah. Let's see. The ruling guy <laughs> is Lord Mayor Bier Gorchet. Bier with a B. You want to put that spelling in the old. Uh... Oh, sure. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> oh. put that... Thank you. <laughs> uh, Lord Mayor Pierre Gaucher. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. That's it. Exactly as it's written, exactly as it sounds. Yeah. I, I, I'm not doing fancy <laughs> French stuff. Logan's French is pretty fucking nominal. So, uh, he is the Lord Mayor yeah. under the King. Insert long list of royalty here. Pretty much this. The general thing of what the deal is here is um, they discovered something valuable under the mountain, like in the mountain, they're mining some shit that's supposed to be good for them, and that caused okay. this city to spring up. Unfortunately, they have significant problems here because uh, there's some uh, creatures called the Echo that live in the uh, mountains and caves under the mountains, who uh, the some sort of a lizard that walks upright and has a tail and can breathe fire and things like that. Mm. And so uh, there's a bounty on them. And of course, the Kuota. The Kuota, they come from the water and they have the power of belief. Shit. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> Freddy looks like extremely panic about this. <laughs> I swear if that's that disbeliever girl, I wanna be so mad. Ah. So uh right, then you guys uh go to get a place to sleep, which is not difficult. You're down in the village. Now, they do have more secure but much more expensive places if you want to hike up a fucking mountain. Or you can get a reasonable place down here. Not at the moment. I wouldn't want to. A uh, uh, reasonable spot. Yeah. yeah. And the I will and then you get to find out how much it costs for a place down here. Tink. Yeah. Which I will tell you very soon. Five hundred Z. Yay! One, one Sauron. Oh, they they have a. You've noticed that per you, minute. 
You notice that they have a very weird custom. Like if you say, oh, I'd like 200 Z, that doesn't register with them. You have to go, uh, I'll give you two carve. Because they just, the, the prospect of giving like 200 Z, they're just like, the fuck are you talking about? I want two carve. I want 500 Z, you know, or whatever, 200 Z. So they're, they're pains in the asses like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Hold on a second. I will tell you soon because you're going to need to know this. Travel, adventuring. Oh, fine. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I know how to do it. Um, let's There's see. Cat, funny answer. It's one Z for full bid and board. <laughs> you don't want the board. No. Uh, let's see. Ah, there it is. Um, for both of you, a, a pretty nice room that gives you enough privacy where you can do things like Trump, possibly even cast spells and shit, uh, would be uh, uh, one carve. Or you can get a shitty room for as little as like uh, five de verre. But one one, each or no, one that's total. That's they'll they'll bring in an extra bed so you guys can sleep in the same room if you want. Or they'll give you one big bed. They're yeah. easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay for that. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay for that. You give them a small silvery shield with rounded corners, and they're delighted. They show you to your room and they ask you, uh, they say, if you if you relieve yourself, uh, they give you directions like uh, where to go to in order to shit outside. They have no indoor plumbing here. Like there's, there's okay. an outhouse. It's not just go outside and poop, but there's an outhouse type thing. They don't know what kind of creatures you are, so they just assume you're going to poop at some point. And I'm still here, I'm just going to eat. Yeah, constantly and often. Yeah, it'd be like that. So, Freddy uh, <clears throat> makes a couple of luck rolls on his trump. Or actually, Freddy makes one luck roll, then Jameis. Ah, Freddy hasn't shapeshifted. Cool, you got. And Jameis calls him, and assuming Freddy makes his one luck roll, he shows up with a fucking care pack and, like, clean water. Food you can eat, and not die, and all that kind of shit. And you are fucking delighted. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Imagine, imagine also, that with the power of Trumps. It's like I know a restaurant in Paris. You want to go right now? We'll come back within the you know, an hour. Uh, also, while we're here, I'm gonna try and heal my little damage that I took, since we have a private room. Mm hmm. He explodes, sets a hotel on fire. I tell you, walking in the pattern is the thing you pretty much all characters have to do at this point. You're not going to be anywhere without it. Well, hopefully somebody will figure out, because your guess is that they're probably going to be guarding against what you did. So now the players have to figure out a way to reopen the pattern and shit, you know. That's not my problem. All right. Well, they they all say that. So, you know, the next player in is yeah. fucked. <laughs> uh, uh, should have done. I uh, am still for a sec. <laughs> nice. Uh, ouch. Uh, yeah. This is all good. Here, here comes the fumble card. Fumble card. Fumble card. Don't, don't, don't pause it. Take the fumble. It's no, never no, good. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, he's not going to pause it. Let's it's going to be do something horrible to me. But uh, now, Reb, uh, you are the bonus. If you'd like to slap him around, you're the bonus to hit. Eh? Yeah. Eh? I give you plus thirty yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, right, that's all that happens. <laughs> that and he can't cast it anymore on you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Reb. Come on. Well, that's true. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, other than that, the uh, other than some weird fucking noises, not only from nature but the other guests, and apparently people like to uh, like the boats and stuff are yelling at each other occasionally. But it's a fairly quiet. It's a nice place. Um, and 
Unless uh, somebody shouts, uh, you know, everything's all right. And you're like, oh, fuck off then, you know. And so, yeah, it's just weird. Bells and all well. <laughs> it's just weird noises and stuff. Um, once, once, like about an hour before dawn, people start getting up and getting ready. And then when dawn hits, everybody's out because, you know, it costs money to fucking make fire at night. Yes, they do it anyway. But... Also, they sleep in two shifts, which is weird for you guys, because they'll go sleep for a while, and then they'll wake up and do shit, and then they'll go back to sleep. Um, so. The Italian siesta model. Kind of. Kind of, although theirs is be awake, go to sleep, be awake, go to sleep, be awake. Mm. And these guys are just like, we're awake, go we'll sleep, wake up, maybe have sex, go back to sleep, done. And then wake up for the big wake. So it's, it's, they, they just have a weird rhythm here. Um, mm. Yeah. So it's daytime. You guys are ready to go out. Uh, essentially, Jameis, uh, since he can uh, uh, speak French completely fluently and seems to be the at home in the zone, uh, he can make with uh, Freddie uh, assisting uh, four different research roles for the day of just wandering around going, hey, how you doing? What's going on? And so, it, like, if you want to uh, find somebody to sell your magic item to uh, and shit like that, that would be one of them. Freddie manages to support all your shit. So you're at a plus five. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Because I'm not going to ever use it. Um. Yeah, no, what we want to, what are the four questions we want to get answers to? I'd like to get that sort of before I do any of my roles to do that. A uh, plan? No. I, no. I want to know more about how these magic items are found, how they, um, uh, how much it costs to sell them, those sorts of things. Well, that would be involved with you selling your item, so I'll take all that as a okay. bundle. Sure. Okay. So the magic shit, that's one. Do you want do you want to just go as you go? Because that way if you find out uh, something. We want to find new, out more. Huh? Yeah, okay. And I Yeah, we need to know about the other kingdoms as well. No idea. If you'd like to, you can, uh, so we you didn't to the fumble, people. since you didn't fumble, you could use your second research role today to continue looking for somebody who can yep. fucking give you a straight answer. Yep. I, we talk to the wrong people. We might need to move up a tier or two to get to the real people who know what the heck they're doing with merchants. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Almost a fumble. Well, this is up for the, you and you and the tier and... <laughs> You can you <laughs> continue to interrogate the same fishmonger lady who just keeps shaking her head no. She's got like pink tusks and she's like now now and you're like magic. I want to buy it. I want to sell it. I am magic and she's like now now now. So roll three. Ooh. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Are you sure? Are All you right, sure? no, no, no. She said. <laughs> And last roll before you turn in for the evening and sit there and eat your soup really dejected. Yes. Okay. So you discover just before it's time to fuck off and go to sleep and stuff that you need to hike all the way up there. And you discover there they give you careful directions uh, to where the the magic merchant is. Uh, there are more than one, but this is apparently a reputable one. And so they're sending you up there to uh, see him and, you know, tell him, tell him uh, Pierre sent you. Okay. All right. So we'll need to spend another night somewhere. Uh, mark off the same amount of money as before. You can have your same room if you'd like. It's awesome. Oh, so it's yeah. well, well, I do have. Well, we've got five le five livier each, which is one card equivalent. So I want to do you want. I've got one. Well, I have one card. Do you want to keep it so we can analyze it? Oh, are, we, yeah. are we going to? Are we going to pretty much count on getting more money when we sell this? Show? Well, uh, ten ten livier is one card, not five. No, I have five. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah we five. both have oh. five. Have okay, five each. Yes. that's cool. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. 
Yeah, I mean, if you were to sell off some of your other shit, then you yeah. probably have more money. But for the moment, sure. Well, if we have to run away, then I'd rather have you know a carve on hand for us to analyze rather than not that we'd ever need to run away for any reason whatsoever. Nothing uh, would ever go wrong. Uh, right. Uh, her name is uh, Lorraine Renault. She is the uh, person who uh, sells magic items and such. I mean, there are probably more, but this is a good one to get you started. Well, let me add that. Bonjour. Bonjour, bitches. Uh, hey, I can actually always see sort of Freddy asking me like a hundred questions as I try to translate each one for the <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm imagining it's a non-stop uh, just horrible thing and one of the interesting things I found out from real life experience is that there's an actual skill of translator simply being fluent in both languages is mm -hmm. insufficient yeah so baffling baffling but especially with idioms and stuff, you have to really because you know. We, well, it's not it's not so much like that it's to the store, but at would point. Right, but it, it's it's being able like when somebody's talking, being able to uh, um, almost simultaneously uh, repeat it in the other mm. language smoothly. Because I've only met a couple yeah. of people who can do that, and it's pretty rare. And when it happens, it's like fucking magic. So for me. Because I don't speak that many languages as well. So, anyway, she she uh, buys and sells magic items, and uh, she she says, uh, uh, "You wish to know the general prices of uh, magic items?" There's a great deal. Yeah, of... I'm asking her. I'm asking. I'm asking. Yes. <laughs> 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 Take a card, Jameis. That's fucking great. Um, uh, it shows him go, excuse me, miss. Strangles the shit out of Freddy. He goes back to talking to her. Yes. She's like, my God. Mom, too. You're like, hey, he just needs an occasional strangle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like I like the name Baguette. Um that's that's a fucking great name and let's see prices there it is uh what you end up picking up through all her stuff actually she she's she obfuscates it enough that i would like uh evidence analysis roles to correlate the data into a simple answer cool yep Oh yeah, she yeah. she talks on. She has like tea and cakes brought and stuff. When she finds out you have a magic item for sale, the magic items generally their prices do are we? in. Oh, we do. We do. She stops. She stops with a cake halfway to her mouth. You don't. I hope you do. Go oh, because oh, I keep thinking the magic <laughs> item. Magic item we buy by cake. I think that the mm. bag of holding. No, no, we got the bag of holding. The the prices are in. Keep oh. we got the bag of holding. I thought they were in bye bye. Ah, the prices are generally in Sarah for magic items. Okay. Oh wow. Well, okay. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. now point zero zero one Sarah. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, only Jameis can do the bargaining role in order to sell the bag of holding because she doesn't want to talk to baguette she's not going to give you a baguette she knows your name is baguette can i, can I support him and then advise on how to do it sure stuff? sure you can try support i'm good with that you're like ask for more money my bucket is lower than my language so this my bucket yeah well this <laughs> this is your big vital yeah. bargain oh, uh, i got a school plus so plus five, so that's a plus ten bump all over. Ooh. You're gonna Come on, do fumble. It. Come on, fumble. Do I'm it, Doug. Mm. Uh, for this, since uh, the more powerful the item, she explains, uh, the bigger of chance of it dying when used. For your bag, you end up getting five Sauron. Oh, okay. Cha -ching. She gives you the money. She takes the bag. Mark off the bag. I'll give one sell on to Web. 
I think she's she got all five right now. So that's what I was <laughs> She gave she's, oh, okay. ignor, she's ignoring Baguette Boy and she gives him the money. I don't how much do you want to give him? One Sarah. Right. <laughs> she says, uh, give hey, him two. That's cool. All okay. right. He seems cool. delighted. Anyway. Hey. I don't know if you need money, I can we can share money. I'm not really I'm not yeah, I'm anyone has put it up so if so we're having to hit some sort of fumble card that has to magically get rid of our money. It's not all of them first. Now look looking around her uh items, if if you're she's happy to show you different items and stuff like that, but what you find out is even if she explains what it does, unless you identify it, you cannot use it. However, since she's happy to show you different items because she would like to have repeat business in the future, and she seemed pretty reasonable to you. Um, although I did forget to have her roll her identify because they won't buy it unless they can identify it, which she does. Um, uh, unless you identify it, you can't use it. So what you can do, because she doesn't want you to use anything, obviously, since it might fucking die, but you can uh, literally try uh, your identify each of those different things that you have it learned or whatever, if you'd like. There were a whole six. bunch of them. Yeah, how many were there total? Sorry. I know you, I know you were there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight uh, identified spells. Uh, uh, eight eight uh, identified skills. He looks at it and yeah, screams and hides under the table. She's like, You do not like peppermint? Useless. Useless. Yeah, useless. fortunately, uh, fumbling on identify, hey, one. not a big deal. Hmm? It also gets my learn check as well. Good. Uh, I'm going to do them in order that you paste them. Seven, so. Yeah, two more. Uh, uh, one more. Boom. One fun okay. more and one success. No problem. You're both the terrified success. of peppermint for some reason. This confuses her. The success was the yeah. What's oh, the I'm terrified of peppermint. In this place, it's going to freaking kill me. What is the fifth one, James? Uh... I can just repost the skills yeah, easier. Sure. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Could I put them into the sheet? Because I put them elsewhere. And there. Do that. Boom. Boom. Communication? Yeah, communication. Yeah, communication. Hmm. Yeah, I got communication and construction with the two I got. All right. Uh, I will pull up a couple of communication. Would you like to know what the items actually do? Because I will pull up a couple for you and let you know. That way you can get an idea of the kind yeah. of magic shit that they have. Unless here. we are looking to buy them. Well, well I suppose we did identify them, so yeah. Right. I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me just see. It depends. It's like, how much do you want to know about the world? Um. Communication or construction. Yeah, yeah give it to us. And Let's see. I uh, you found that. Uh, uh, transcribe it later. Well, yeah. Um, let's see the. Uh, yeah, you need an easy way of identifying which of the what these types of items are. I mean, just as big of holding, but it doesn't say what type of item there are. I totally agree. I should have. I should have put that on there, but I didn't. Uh, construction for the magical armor, and let me find a communication one. Oh, oh nice! What was? Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. That's not communication. That is a nice item. Uh huh. Well, there's a lot of good shit in here. I'm still looking. Oh wow, yeah, the armor is nice. There, fucking. Well, I'm at, let, me, let me see if I've got it written down somewhere else. Magic items. There we go. God damn it, Logan. Why do you try to defeat yourself? That, that arm is really nice, yeah. Mm hmm. Hey. Well, that's about the price in the moment. I suspect that if you, if, you have to, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it, you just sold the most expensive item. Anything else she has is equal to or less 
Ooh. do it than oh, okay. price. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, item I'm never ever gonna use because there's a one in three chance it just blows up. No. Oh, that's a, yeah, yeah, the bag of holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The D8 though. <laughs> Give me. Mm -hmm. Um. Hold on, I'm still looking here. Ah, Logan did. Just, just say, though, it's only in this zone that you can use these. So. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's least useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's still sexy as if the armor, but yeah, the zone restricted. Yeah. Until unless, we get a, unless we get a base for operations, we there's no, I'm not going to remember to drag it back and forth every bloody time yeah. and so on. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to sell this anyway, because otherwise I would need to have to bury it somewhere in the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I cannot actually find a fucking communication item. So probably just like uh, it's like shitty, uh, shitty walkie-talkie type thing. Yeah. Cool. Oh, even that was probably pretty useful in the zone. Yeah. Yes. And then we got our bracelets, which are going to right. overwhelm anyone. Yeah, but that will put everyone out. Yeah. Uh, now, just so you know, the uh, the item, the D eight item, that's as good as it gets as far as uh, not dying. Uh, it, there are no D10 items or whatever, so it's between D3 and D8. And okay. uh, the thing is that if you forget to roll, it automatically dies. No question, okay. no going back, no do overs, just fucking no, no and hero points. How much dies. is the armor? Uh, okay, for simplicity, here, I'll just, I, I will give you the price because you can literally go through how much of that. And she knows you got fucking money, so. She will tell you the prices of everything. Um, and the, you're going to love... The pepper, though. Just avoid the pepper. Yeah. yeah, you're going to love how easy the prices are. A D8 item is two Sauron. Now, this is with this is pre-bargain roll, or assuming you make the bargain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it goes three, four, five Sauron. And so okay. D6, oh. D4, D3. So... Everything is between two and five serum. See how easy it is? Because they see all magic items as more or less equal. Why, uh, on the DA, what expires it on a DA? Is it just one or? One? Always one. Always one. Okay. Well, a D8 then is a lot better than a D3. So why would you ever go for a D3 item? Why is that so? Much expensive? more powerful. The, D, the D8 stuff ah. is the least powerful. That's not powerful. That's fucking powerful. Ah, well, they, they, the items are very, very strange and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's, yeah. I tell you, if it worked outside the zone, I'd be saying, give me 50. <laughs> well, yeah. there, there's, there's many, many nifty items in the uh, world and whatnot. Uh, she gives an example of, uh, something else like uh, a bow that has double base range, double base range and stuff, for example. So mm -hmm. there's all kinds of neat shit here. Um, how does that change the economy? Most people can't afford it, so this is kind of like and oh, all the fog, all the magic items have like wisps of fog always coming off of them, mm -hmm. kind of like steam and shit. So it's real obvious that it's a magic item. Um, and the the only people who use magic items or can really afford to trade in them and stuff are elites usually you know or rich people or whatever or people who can fund other people like if you're a rich merchant and you outfit all of your guys with magic swords and stuff like that uh she has heard reports that if if fog traders tried to take them to a different world they go the fuck away so yeah but yeah, yeah unless we go stand your base, yeah, as sexy as that armor is, it's, I'm not getting it. Right. Yeah, unless we figure out a way of preserving them outside of the zone. All right, if you, if, yeah. well, if, if people make a base here or find a way, right, if the PCs eventually experiment, come up with some brilliant shit or something, and yeah, there are ways, but um, then, um, yeah. The, the magic is not going to be particularly useful for you unless you do that or start adventuring here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean for, for, 
Yeah, I mean, for all we know, yeah, it's only we, they go they go to different zones via the fog. So if we go say via a tramp, there may be enough to skip over the fog, destroying as we call it. You'd have to test it to find out. Right. I have a strong interest on that. Uh, but, yeah. Until you until you try it, you yeah. can't confirm it. It might actually end up being that that much for a loophole. You never know. Experimentation is always good. Find out how the world works and why, yeah. but. Or at least how. Anyway, so yeah, it's enjoyable. It's an enjoyable day, and that takes up uh, basically. Uh, you end up spending two of your research roles worth of time. One talking to her, the other hiking, fucking up and down the goddamn mountain. Although you could just stay up in the mountain well, before we come down. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say you could because research what we up like here. To do is, um... Because you're out yeah. of money for oh, well, one thing we wanted to do was, uh, yeah, well, now we do. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to find out getting an audience with the Lord Mayor and as a potential, and then, you know, saying, oh, well, here's a bunch of items because we're nice people, sort of thing. So, yeah. yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be living down on the bottom level, he's going to be living at the top. Yeah, just false contact, basically. Give me, give me a. Uh, etiquette role, and that will convince the guards that you are people of substance and means despite wearing mutter's clothes. <laughs> yeah, they tell you, you know, he, he's very, he's rather busy, perhaps another time. Freddie goes, yeah, and they're like, what? And he goes, bag it, and they go, away with you, fool. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay, what we need oh, to, no, no, no. <laughs> what we need to do is uh, go and get some better clothes and come back again later and stuff like that. So yeah. that's what, what the rest of the afternoon is going to be is getting ourselves oh. more in position for meeting the Lord Mayor. Do, uh, is, do can we make an appointment with him for tomorrow? Is that a thing that happens? Uh, they they don't think that you're somebody that he wants to meet. They're not saying that, but they're saying that he's super busy. So I can't make an appointment as well. No, no, okay, he so doesn't make we'll appointments. Go away, with so you guys go. Up and, why don't you do? You guys now. Okay. You could go clothes shopping up here or down there. Well, up here is the last stuff. So yeah, no we're problem. Have to go up here. I mean, we've got a. I, 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 we've got a saw. I'm going to have to spend a whole swore on just just yeah. making a saw and doing that. Yeah, yeah no problem. I say, this is more about information gathering more than anything else. This is a wise way to look at it. You discover you that uh, each, like for one of you to get formal clothing, standard, not fancy, standard. One saw on. Okay. What's uh, the accommodation at night like? What's that? Uh, it's about uh, uh, 20 times more than you were spending up here. Okay. So. Super secure yeah. now. That's too, too solid, basically. Yeah, I don't know if you want to spend the night up here. Well, we don't want to go traipsing up and down that much either. That doesn't look good, good wear and tear on your clothes. True. Well, you don't want to turn up in, the, in your fine clothes all sweaty and go, eh, eh, we want to see the Lord. I, <laughs> I was going to say, what you, what you guys could do, you found, you've gotten a good deal of information and you've gotten it like, uh, you found many different spots in the lower place, not in the upper place, but in the lower place that Freddie could potentially make trumps of uh, if he wants to get back at a later one. time. And, I have one already. Right. And, well, I mean, for extra trumps to whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I was going to say, we could go ahead and end it because you've got money, you've got trade goods. That actually, mm, give me an etiquette roll to know something, Jameis. Uh, now I've already made it for the adventure. That's the only one I'm going to make. Oh, that's fair. All right. So, um, yeah, you're not sure what to, you've still got your trade goods, uh, but uh, you you can 
pretty much we can end it here and you guys can uh, come back because Freddie can make sure the gate is open, so to speak. And you've got your trade goods. You've even got some money, local money. And hopefully you've got an idea of, aside from the, don't just use the shit that I gave you. Come up with your own stuff because, I mean, just a little bit of like looking into, because the tech level, you're 1,300. Anything that was considered cool in that time period will probably fucking fly, okay? So do some thinking about it, you know, um, discuss it on the boards with people and shit, because obviously, unfortunately, you don't know what the rules are because nobody cast rules or anything like that here. So I did. Did you? Oh, then you know. So, all right. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and call it here for now, uh, but, okay. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, Red the trade goods. I'll let you keep all of them. Cause I'm not. There's no point me coming back trying to trade when I can't speak French. So I'll leave them with you. Uh, yeah, that's a good thing. I don't seem to exist very often though. Uh, well, I was gonna say the trade goods you bought like, really weren't that expensive, and you know you you can yeah. go buy different trade goods yeah. for next time. Yeah. Uh, the, the next potential time we may be together is with, uh, I think, you, me, and Pete. If Corey, if I'm alter for Corey. Mm. Well, no, no, it might be Yana and Pete. Uh, I'm not here on that day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, well. Well, don't it's worry. Been, Maybe Freddie can find somebody else who fucking speaks French to bring with him. Because, you know. I'm sure tons of people speak French. It's a very common language. It really, really is. <laughs> I know that. I'm going to leave that in your hands because okay. I, know, I know one person who speaks French in the group and I'm pretty sure he's going to despise this place and I'm not going to bring him here. Who's that? Doc, Doc Fulton? Yeah. Yeah. Doc Fulton despises most things. <laughs> Doc Fulton is a destroyer of worlds, so you know. Right. Okay, so, uh, right, we'll go ahead and, uh, um, oh, what were you doing, Jameis? Um, art painting. Oh, right. Oh, you're doing you to make a skill whoring? No, I'm just getting a, I'm just getting a cheat. Yeah, just okay. got this, this skill whoring. Got it. Well, first, before you start in on That's all, it. Okay. all that, um, uh, let's see, baguette, take a card. Um, yeah. Do you have an idea uh, for a title, Freddie? Or do you, are you just happy with baguette? I, I like baguette. I do too. Oh, nice. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and do your end of mission card play, gents. Okay. Gee, so happy that I fucking have, nuts moved out. Jesus. I have one victory. I have a victory. Oh, pistol escape! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Well, did you guys already do your end of mission refill? Not yet. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've just done it. I got. I mean, uh, I've got a. I've got a camaraderie, so you know, we got something. Uh, and I've got a victory and a reroll, but otherwise, nah. Okay, let me do mine. It's all on you. Can you get rid of this camaraderie and victory? Yes. Yin Yang. <laughs> well, there you go. Wow. I hate that. Leave, leave the victory on top. Yeah, I will. It's kind of been how it's been going all session for you guys. I just imagine the guy finish. who's. I'm just imagining the guy who anytime I, you talk to him goes loaf of bread, loaf of bread. And you're like, what do you think about loaf of bread? Got it. Your loaf of bread, fine. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna uh, before I end the recording. I just now remembered we have a recording going. Freddie, what have you got to say to the studio audience out there? Okay. it, <laughs> Jameis. Be seeing you.